it's Froggy, and I'm back with some more Hat Awful Boyfriend. This time I am joined by the not so mighty Matt. Hello. Hello. It's been a little Hi. while since I've had you on my channel. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, it's been since Bang and Rumpa. Yeah, and that's not even. Finish and because it's of schedules. Exactly. And it's not even on my channel anymore. If you want to see us doing Dung and Rumpa, you can go watch it on Mr. Dude Man, uh, Mr. Dude Man Sir's channel. Oh my god. Wait, does this channel still up? <laughs> It's been a while. Probably. It's been a hot minute. Um, if it is, if not, then you've never seen me or heard me before, and you're lost, honestly. Well, there you go. Oh, uh, we were all, you, we were also on Lammy's channel for the the beanbag corner. You were and in that. D &D. And D and D. That's true. You were in the D and D campaign, were you not? But I really shine bright in Dang and Rumpa. Some of those voices were uh, divine on all ends. Oh yes, top notch. But uh, and I won't be doing them again. No. Oh, well, sad hours, but it, such is life. Everybody gets busy sometimes. So uh, today we're going to be aiming for Yuya, which is the ladies' man. It'll be fun. And uh, Not what I signed up for. Yeah. <laughs> I, t I told Matt which, which character he chose, and he was like, well, that doesn't sound right for me at all. <laughs> but, you know, it's how it is. It's how it is. Um, go new game here. All right, so basically what I'm going to get you to do is you'll be voicing Yuya, obviously, and you and I are going to go back and forth between voicing the other characters because none of them are voiced. Okay. So we'll do that. So obviously I'm going to start as the main character. So welcome to St. Pinch of Nations. Please enter your name. All right, what do you want your first name to be? Don't ask me for names. I'm so bad at those. No, no. You know give it. me, give me the first, first, first name that comes to your head. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh no, Elizabeth. Oh, well, Elizabeth. It is. And what's? No. Yep. And what's, stupid. <laughs> what's, the like <laughs> what's the last name? What's the last name? I picked the first name. You picked the last name. Um. Elizabeth. Estupida. <laughs> All right. Is Elizabeth Estupida okay for you? Does that sound good? I didn't pick it. Your parents did. Ah, uh, well, if it was good enough for them, it is good enough for us. Yes, that is good. Thank you. Hat of a Boyfriend includes powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes? No? Would you like to see their human forms? Sure, I don't care. Alright. Now, obviously, Matt has never played this game before, right? I knew it was a bird game and that's it. Yeah, so, uh... I'm pretty sure there's also one where you can date various forms of chicken nugget. And you can! I, I started that one on my channel, like, a million years ago. <laughs> Only got through one episode. It's very interesting, though, but, yeah. Um, so, obviously, we're going to be starting all over from the beginning again, as per usual, and making it to whichever ending we can for you, yeah. All right. I know. Bird. Okay, here we go. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. Can you picture like a pigeon playing soccer? Just <laughs> They have to hop everywhere, right? Yeah, I, I guess. There's there's one bird in here who like full on runs. I guess I could imagine it. They do that weird leg thing where they like fully extend both ways at once, you know? Yeah. I could see it. See, I'm just picturing like a little bird with like a sweatband and like a jersey playing soccer. And they can use their soccer. wings to turn. I think they'd be good at it. Oh, there you go. Like how cheetahs use their tail. Oh, yeah. That could work. The 
teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. All right, you voice this one. This is um the best friend. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Nilta. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Elizabeth. Overslept. All right. So that's him in human form. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. We're cave people, by the way. We're cave people? <laughs> yeah, we're hunter-gatherer cave people. We live in a cave. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Ah, oh, yes, bird seed. That'd hit the spot. Oh, the bill already! Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. Who <laughs> says jeepers? I know it. It trips everyone up. It's so funny. And so Rio to put me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Every time I do her voice, I'm like doing all these hand motions everywhere. And I'm like, yeah. Makes me feel energized. I'm not going to know who's what voice by the end of this. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all good. I think we're in two, three. Yuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope you all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Uh, you might want to voice this one, because I think the next one's the French guy, and I know you can't do the accent, so I'm going to have to. Well, I mean, I'm not going to do a French accent, but there you go. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Oh, see, you're doing a bit of an accent right there. Look at you go. I specialize in math and physics. Why is the speed? <laughs> Give me the sentence, you mother. <laughs> and also some other things. It's because he was falling asleep. He's got narcolepsy. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? That's the teacher. Never learn what eyelids are. Mm. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously so so Jesus, every time. Soporific math professor. I'm still He's also an old man now. Yes. I have said these same words so many times at this point, and yet I still don't know them, like, at all. <laughs> I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. I'm um, sorry, is it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Hiragane. <laughs> what is the point? I like being really droll with this guy. I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. <clears throat> I get to make the snooty face. I'm like, <clears throat> oh, guess that's that. On with the show. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we 
can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse. How will all turn it into kulaks and dysenters? Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragani? Shirogane Label Sakia. Look at him. Mm. It seems this fan tale is Shirogane Sakia. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up. But then, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Nope. <laughs> no. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Iriota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. Well, that reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? I'll do this guy. Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something for me? Ugh. He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were uh, a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I miss stupid Elizabeth, a sophomore. What about you? Y your Negeki. Fujishiro. Negeki. Freshman. Fujishiro Negeki, huh? Mindy doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Deal. Okay. Sorry to bother you. What? I said deal. <laughs> deal, bye. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... There we go. You should have been instructed not to approach me at school. There, this is you. This is the one we're going for. Come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? Oh, okay, we're going for the whole Western thing. Got it. Love it. It's just what I defaulted to. No, oh, that's good. I love it. My brother. You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Mm. Hey, now wait just a minute. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <gasps> you heard that whole thing, right? You a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Uh... <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> I try to stay sexy and swallow in front of all you little ladies. That there wasn't too cool. <laughs> oh, Shit. That's you. 
This Van Tail Pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. And they should. Mm. You're Elizabeth, right? Uh, how did you... I know every bird of here. Besides, you're the only human. Single poppy in the field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Uh, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. I'd never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe, huh? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. <laughs> genuine article. <laughs> he is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, Mona me. I do. Oh, yeah, I guess he does attempt the French, but you don't have to speak French. It's fine. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, yeah, though. Probably a twisty business. What is a twisty business? I don't know. Juicy? That's all a for today. Way. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now or that I think not, about I don't it. Care. Oh. Well, that's just great, Teach. Gosh. You know, Charlie still have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. <laughs>